Hello, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing a craft on how to make these gold and silver nuggets, which are great for props for your D&D games. You can use them as currency or for cosplay or arr, there be pirates. So stay tuned. This is super quick, easy, fast, and cheap. And welcome guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Here is what we're going to create out of some found rocks around my yard and some chunks of cement from around the driveway. We're gonna make some gold and silver nuggets. Here's a chunk of cement. These look great. And the technique I'm gonna show you up ahead is super fast, cheap, and easy. Here's an example of what everything's gonna look like. There's actually six different varieties in that pile. First thing we need to do is wash off our rocks because you never know what kind of debris is in there. And I just used a little bit of Dawn that I let them, drained them, and then I poured them out here to dry. And I wanted to get a shot of the various rocks that we'll be using so you can see that you can basically use anything you want. And these make great props for uh, kids' pirate party, or if you're into painting rocks, or you can use these as currency for your D&D games. So the first thing I did is I went and got some Rust-Oleum intense, super powerful, two times yada 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 paint. And uh, picked out the rocks I wanted to try out with this technique and just spray painted them gold. It couldn't be more easy than this. And I gave them a single coat. This is a great paint. You don't have to pile it on. I didn't have to layer it up. And then I thought I'd try some silver because who doesn't, in D&D, &D, I mean, silver is a decent currency. And I had this lying around. I found it on clearance. And look how easy it just takes the paint. Kabam. And I once I finished painting, I let this dry. I did all this crafting outdoors, so make sure you do this in a well-ventilated area. Look how good that silver is. So the next thing I did is I primed some other rocks with uh, my Chaos Black Primer because I wanted to paint them with a brush, and I wanted to use this other version of a pure gold paint that I picked up at a big box store. It's a folk art craft paint. This was $2. It was nothing expensive, and I wanted to try a variety of options so that because not everybody uses spray paint or has access to spray paint and I wanted to show what the different colors look like. So I went ahead and primed some rocks and let's get to town on this. Gold finger. And here we go. Here's what the faux fool's gold nuggets looked like using the folk art metallic pure gold paint. I think it did a really nice job. It came out a little bit different than the spray paint, but I think I might actually like it a little better. And speaking of, here are the three different colors next to each other. There's the silver spray paint, the gold spray paint, and the gold acrylic craft paint. So the next thing I decided to do was add a little black wash to three of them so I could do a side by side and to see if this would give a nice older aged effect. When doing my black wash, I like to swirl my little piece around in a dish and then I take and I tap off and I shake off any extra paint to try and leave just the black wash remains in the recesses of the piece. Also, I'll take the piece and gently drop it or allow it to drop on my cardboard mat to shake off any extra. And there's really not a whole lot of black wash coming out. So here's the third piece. And then I just left these out to dry afterwards. And you can see how that gets a nice little aged effect to the gold. And here we go. Here's the final result of our pile of fool's gold and silver nuggets. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was really easy as you can see. And I hope this inspires you to go out and craft and paint some rocks for whatever purpose you can think of. Have a good one. Enjoy whatever it is you're doing and brings you joy. And please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.